Saturday morning with D Horde, man. This is week three. It's actually week four, but uh, due to some complications, uh, we weren't able to go forward last week with week three. Um, I had a lot on my plate at the time. Uh, pray for me. I was going through um, a lot of things at the time, so. Uh, but we're back um, with week three, and so uh, man, like I said, I'm blessed to be here. Uh, you know, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to come see you guys every week and uh, share Saturday morning with D Horton uh, with you. And I will continue to do that. Uh, I'm encouraged, so I'm not giving up. Uh, I know that's what a lot of people are thinking. Um, but things are going to be different this week. Um, not necessarily going to do uh, the music. Um, I prayed about it. Uh, that's going to continue next week. Um, but for now, uh, the Lord led me to just share uh, something more personal. A lot of people last week were telling me that I need to be more personal, that I don't need to, you know, be so verbatim uh, with scripture, that I need to make it more personal. Uh, so I'll, I'll testify from a personal perspective, and maybe I'll be able to encourage uh, some of you guys, um, some of you guys that are uh, tuning in every weekend. Um, I think that's a beautiful thing. Uh, so, you know, uh, this week, man, I just want to talk about redemption. Uh, um, so much as, uh, not necessarily redeeming yourself in the eyes of a man, uh, others, you know, um, for one, there's no perfect person. Uh, the only perfect person there ever was, you know, died on the cross for us and he's sitting at the right hand of God right now. So. You know, there's no perfect person in the world. Now, does that give you an excuse to make mistakes? Uh, no, absolutely not. You know, we're, we as Christians, or whatever you believe in, uh, you know, should strive to lead a life that is exemplary for others that aren't as strong in their faith as us, as well as, you know, um, pleasing in the sight of God. Uh, so, no, that doesn't give you an excuse to make a mistake or to do something incorrect. However, it does allow you, due to the fact that we are in the dispensation of grace and mercy now, uh, because Jesus Christ came and died for our sins, it does allow you an opportunity for redemption. Um, speaking from a personal perspective, you know, uh, this week I hurt someone who was very close to me. I don't wanna get into it specifically. Uh, I don't feel the need to, uh, but I hurt someone who was very close to me, uh, not a, or a girl or anything like that, uh, but family. Um, you know, I misled their trust and I abused the opportunity to take advantage of them um, in a certain way, uh, regardless of how that is. And uh, so the Lord's dealing with me about that. Um, and so I took the day today to pray about it. And ask the Lord to guide me and to, um, you know, correct my my error as well as find any kind of, you know, reasoning to forgive me. And, you know, um, the only thing that I came up with or the only thing that he gave me was that, you know, who are you trying to please? Are you trying to please man? Are you trying to please God? Um, because don't get it twisted. God is a jealous God. And, and people misconstrue that statement by saying, uh, well, you know, how's God jealous? Jealousy is a sin. Envy is a sin. Um, however, uh, what, what he means by that is not necessarily so much of envy of material possession or, or jealousy of something that one has and the other doesn't have. But the, the acknowledgement of him as not only your Savior, but your Lord as well. Is what he's jealous of. You can't serve two gods. Um, I'm improving daily. Uh, will that person forgive me? I don't know. Um, you know, and I'm finding a way to try to make that uh, make it a situation in which he does forgive me. Uh, but if not, then you know, um, uh, I'm not going to hold myself down for that. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to ask the Lord to renew a righteous spirit within me. Uh, I'm praying for uh, redemption. I'm repenting. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's how I want to encourage the people to do. 
Um, and I'm sure there's something that you've done um, that you aren't necessarily pleased with. All of us have. Uh, and if you haven't, then you haven't lived long enough. Um, so, man, I would encourage you to not hold yourself down. We all make mistakes. Um, there's three steps uh, to, in the process of redemption. Uh, in my eyes, this is just my opinion. Uh, I'm just sharing it with you. Step number one is, man, to acknowledge that you made a mistake. Acknowledge to yourself, acknowledge to God, and let the rest happen. Just acknowledge that, Lord, I made a mistake. Here I am, David Wayne Horton II, coming to you knowing that I made a mistake. Number two is, you have to repent. And repent doesn't mean ask the Lord to forgive you. Because what happens is you ask the Lord to forgive you and then you go back and you do the same thing. That's what I had a problem with. I had a problem with I re repent about uh, lying to someone or repent about not telling the truth. And then I would go back and not do it again. That's not repenting. Repenting is not only to ask for forgiveness or not only to, uh, to ask the Lord to forgive you of, that, of what you've done, but also to change the error of your ways. Um, because if you are repenting, that means you know what you've done. So um, to know better is to do better. And step number three is to forgive yourself. Uh, a lot of times uh, people will ask the Lord to forgive them. They will ask the person in which they uh, harmed or um, they abused to forgive them. They ask society to forgive them. Um, but a lot of times they don't, they don't forgive themselves. Um, so I would encourage you to acknowledge what you've done wrong. Repent and ask the Lord to forgive you and change the error of your ways. And then forgive yourself and let the Lord handle the rest. Be encouraged. I love you. God loves you as well. Saturday morning with D. Horton. We'll be back next week, man. We're here, baby. We're here.